Today, let's talk and learn about the most complex and the most searched lift in CrossFit, the Snatch. Hi, my name is Veda Thapa. I'm a professional CrossFit athlete. I'm the first Indian to represent India at the CrossFit Games and I'm also three times fittest man in India. Weightlifting is the most important part of CrossFit. Today, I'm going to break down the difficult movement snatch in steps and progressions. There are many videos on YouTube. Someone is teaching you to squat, someone is teaching you to press, someone is teaching you to deadlift, but no one doesn't give you all the information. I've seen a muscle blaze calisthenics video. In that video, the way it was explained, I really liked it. So I decided that I will make a series in CrossFit in which I will explain all the movements and methodologies in an easy way. In India, you have played cricket. Before playing on the ground, you will play in your building. So in this way, I will make you from the ground zero to the lowest level possible. Before we start getting into the nitty gritty of CrossFit, let's take a few moments to understand what actually CrossFit is. The definition of CrossFit is constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensity, right? So when you take jabap functional movements in terms of gymnastics, weightlifting, and track and field exercise, जैसे हो गया running हो गया, swimming हो गया, biking हो गया, when you आप जब ये तीनों movements को साथ में लेते हैं और करते हैं, it's called CrossFit. So guys, first things first. कोई भी movement शुरू करने से पहले we will make sure that we are warmed up properly so that we ensure we are doing good movement and we are moving under safety. Okay? So I will take you through a few exercises that are my personal favorites before I start warming up. First exercise into our weightlifting warm-up series is going to be a PVC pass-through. This is a very important exercise to open up the shoulders and to make sure that you are in a good position whilst you are under load. Okay, I am going to show you five repetitions and they go like this. In this, you have to always keep in mind that your elbows throughout the movement are not bent and your armpits are locked. If you find it difficult to go all the way back and down, then you can probably extend your grip. Increase your grip range so that you will be easy to do up and down. If your elbows are bent and bent, this means that you have restrictions of mobility restrictions and you want to probably try extending your grip so that Range easy ho jai. Movement should be smooth all the way back and down. Exercise number two for making sure our shoulders are stable under load is a close grip in out. Abhi sab log ke liye ye exercise unki flexibility pe depend karegi. Koi log ke liye ye asaan rahega, koi log ke liye ye bahut mushkil rahega. So according to your flexibility levels, ab isko scale kar sakte hain. ठीक है? To start with हम लोग hip width grip लेंगे. यहाँ से हम bar को ऊपर लेके जाएंगे. From an overhead locked up position, हम इसको पीछे press करेंगे, अंदर आएंगे, पीछे press करेंगे, अंदर आएंगे. Do this about five times. अगर ये आसान लग रहा है आपको, तो हम और अंदर आएंगे. पीछे press, back down. पीछे press, back down. पीछे press, back down. आसान, और अंदर. पीछे press, back down. पीछे press, back down. आसान. Join your hands. पीछे press, back down. Do about three times. Press, back down. Press back down, cross your hands. Peacher press back down, peacher press back down. Last time, peacher press back down. Make sure कि आप अपने body को nice and supple रख रहे हैं. You're not trying too hard to push through into positions because range जो है वो develop होती है over the years. It doesn't build up in one day. So आराम से अपने flexibility के हिसाब से stay in your comfort zone. You're looking for a stretch. You're not looking for a pain. Okay, so in that case, you will do this exercise. Now that you are comfortable going overhead, let's start doing a few strict presses to make sure that we are ready for the movement coming forward. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Just make sure you are doing three to five repetitions for three to five sets with an empty pipe or with an empty bar. Just to open your shoulders out, getting used to the full range, 
and down. This one is my personal favorite uh, in terms of pre-workout stretching. It is a static stretch which I don't really recommend but ye wala is essential because it makes sure you're ready. Okay, it's called a shoulder stretch for the triceps on the wall. So elbows go straight into the wall. You want to dig in, driving your elbows up and armpits into the wall. Once you're there, we're going to spend about 10 to 30 seconds according to your comfort zone. Again, we are looking for a stretch, not pain. Once you feel nice, solid stretch in five, four, three, two. Come back out, change hands and repeat. Stay there, do about one or two sets according to how you feel on the particular day. And then we go forward. Now that we worked on our shoulders, let's make sure our hips are ready. Weightlifting or CrossFit, mein, the most important part that is used and most underrated are the hips. So always make sure your hips are ready and you're nice and warm before going into the workout. All right. So let's do this drill that I usually do before I start my workout every time. It's called a lunge to a downward dog. So you get into a nice straight lunge, making sure your palms are in line with your legs. Your other knee stays flat onto the floor and you push your hips forward. So lunge position, up into a knight position, from there back down, going straight into a downward dog, heels down, head through press, change legs, back into a lunge position, palm, legs, same line, up into a knight position, lunge back down, change downward dog, do that one more time, lunge, Hips forward, drive, get into that hip and sockets joint, push them forward, up into a lunge, driving sure, making sure I'm nice and supple, back down, change, lunge, push, up to night, back down, down dog, slowly press through all the way and stand up. Now, do this about 5 to 10 times on each leg and then we move forward. Trust me, this will completely open your hips out and make sure you're ready. I guess by now, your shoulder or hips nice and warm. Now, we will hamstrings. Ko activate karenge. Activation ke liye first drill. I prefer it. It's called inchworm. Inchworm ke liye, stand straight, palms to the floor, walk all the way down, chest touches the floor, press up, walk all the way into your heels. Nice and easy, warm your hamstrings up. Stand up, rep number one. All the way down. Lie down. Push up, nahi karna. Yahan pe bas late nahi. Ye passive phase hai, isme kuch nahi karna. To an active phase, press up, heels down, head through. Stand up, one more time. All the way down. Passive, press up. Heels down, head through, all the way. Get your hamstrings nice and warm. My second go-to exercise, to make sure my hamstrings and my glutes are nice and fired up before I work out are glute bridges. So, there are two ways. One is that you do two pairs of dual leg glute bridges or simple glute bridges and one is that you do one pair single leg glute bridges. Starting, we will do two pairs of pairs. Okay? When you start becoming comfortable and you think that you are you can go to the next level, then we will single pair. Pe dual leg glute bridges, heels to the bum, shoulders onto the floor. आपको ये ध्यान रखना है कि आपके शोल्डर और हील्स हमेशा फ्लोर पे रहेंगे और आप सिर्फ अपने ग्लूट्स और हैमस्ट्रिंग से फायर करेंगे अप स्लोली बैक डाउन अप स्लोली बैक डाउन अप दैट्स नंबर 3 बैक डाउन अप नंबर 4 लास्ट वन अप सो फाइव रेप्स एंड देन वी होल्ड फॉर 10 सेकंड्स 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, and relax. Now, for some people, holding up top is going to be difficult. So ideally start with doing five repetitions and hold for about five seconds. Eventually build down to 10. Once you're comfortable with this, we'll go to single leg glute bridges, okay? Single leg glute bridges. Starting with my right leg, stays onto the floor. Left leg comes off the floor. Left leg. The floor se ut jayega. Baki sab chee same rayega. Your shoulders are into the floor. Heels are into the bum. Palms to the side. You're gonna press up. Drive. 
Back down. Let's get three more. Press up. Two. Up. Three. Last one. Up. Now hold again. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Relax. Now, after you're done with this, you should be nice and warm. You can also add a resistant band around your knees. Kaik prakar ke band aate hai. Red, green, blue, purple. So starting with the lightest band, you put it over your knees and get into a glute bridge. Hold it for about 10 seconds after doing 10 to 5 repetitions. I promise you, you'll be nice and warm before your workout. Last but not the least, we also have to make sure that we are warm from core to extremes. So our body ka extreme, there are a calves and ankles. We'll make sure. For the first stretch for the calves, we'll elevate our toes on a surface, heels down and we push forward. Nice and easy, calf stretch. 10 to 20 seconds, each leg, we do that about two times. Change legs. Push forward, make sure that your heels are down, toes up and you drive your body forward. Nice solid stretch right here. And change. For our ankles, now pick a wall, pick any surface right in front of you. Take about palms distance and a thumbs distance from right there, okay? I mean, now this also completely depends on your flexibility. I'm not very uh, flexible on my ankles, so you might not see me driving to my toes that much. But generally, people have a lot of flexibility in that area. So, uske liye na, you take a thumbs distance along with your palm, palm and thumb. And you make sure that your knees are trying to touch the surface all the way right there. So, pura push karenge, making sure knee surface ko touch ho raha Agar ye aapke liye aasaan hai, aap koi weighted surface apne knees pe rakke push aur push kar sakte hai. So, when you add resistance, slowly, slowly your range will keep increasing. Again, most important part is range cannot increase in one day. Ek din mein aapka range nahi badega. You have to practice it day in and day out, every day. So make sure you're nice and warm and use this drill. Use these drills, put it in your routine and you'll see a change. For more such videos, please subscribe Muscle Blaze page and don't forget to hit the bell icon.